Hi guys, welcome to Crypto Command. Today I wanted to highlight a website that I have been using frequently lately called Crypto Compare. There are a ton of useful tools on this website, one in particular that I wanted to highlight today, and that is the Portfolio Manager, which is a great way to keep track of your coins, especially if you have coins that are located in multiple locations, wallets that are all over the place, or if you are trading and just want to actively keep track of what your returns look like. It gives you a way to, to assess when it might be time to sell or when there is a dip that might be worth buying and if you're not keeping a, an eye on it everywhere else. Um, there are a lot of other features on this website that are worth exploring. Too many to go into in one video. Um, there's information on a lot of coins on here. Uh, just a lot of guides, introductions to, to all sorts of things. Um, ICO information, what's upcoming, what's ongoing. Great way for a great loca location where all this stuff is compiled. Um, Links to exchanges, these different exchanges have been rated. Um, so if, if you're looking for, for new exchanges, that's all here. Mining information, um, you know, pieces, uh, uh, components, um, cloud mining, um, also wallets. Um, I found this particularly useful if you're looking for, for wallets for a coin that you can't find anywhere else. You can search by that coin and find what wallet options there are. Um, if, if you need a new way to, to spend your coin, that's here. Um, there are forums, um, so lots of good discussions here. Um, but the portfolio option is really what I wanted to highlight. Um, so let's let's jump into that and I'll walk you through some of the features and what you can do. I'm going to go into my portfolios. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an example portfolio for you. So I clicked on add another portfolio. So this is one feature is that you can have multiple portfolios within the platform. So if you have, um, for example, let's get out of this quickly. Um, if you have coins that you are, are gathering that have been, that you're staking, or if they've been sent to you for any reason, you could have, uh, have uh, a portfolio for that. Keeping track of my Genesis mining, um, then my investment portfolio, as I want to keep that separate, looking at the coins of what's going up, what's going down. Um, let's add another portfolio. We'll just give this a name, example portfolio. You can, you, you can set the default currency to a few different options. Um, USD is the default. You can use euros, you can use BTC. I'm going to leave it as USD. Um, <clears throat> you can put a description in here if you want. That's not a mandatory field. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, you can have a private portfolio just for you. There's also a public portfolio feature where others can, can look at your portfolio or you can look at a public portfolios, get investing ideas. Um, they are working on encryption for the portfolios. This is currently under development. They said it would be ready by the beginning of August. It's still not an available feature. So right now the default is, is not encrypted. I'm going to click Create. And when you open this up, everything is empty. So you have to start adding coins into here. So let's see what that looks like. Let's add our first coin. So when you add a coin into here, you can pick what coin. So a few options come up by default. So 
Bitcoin. Um, let's add some Bitcoin to here. So I can say, how much do I want to add? Um, so I could have <clears throat> one Bitcoin or I could have 0.1 Bitcoin. I can say the price at which I bought that. So let's say that I bought 0.1 Bitcoin at $3,000. So because I set up a USD wallet, USD is the default currency. I'm saying that the per unit price, so the amount per unit, that was the price that was set. And right now I'm saying that was today. If you want to add coins into here that um, you purchased at some point in the past, there's a calendar and you can go in and add the date. Um, you can add a description here. If you, if you want some sort of reminder, you have 500 characters, you could write bot on Coinbase, something like that. You can add that to your portfolio and once that populates, you'll be able to see how that coin is performing over time. After we've added our coin, <clears throat> what you can see is that the current price will populate. So currently the price of Bitcoin is just under 3,900. So our 0.1 Bitcoin has a total value of 389. So that means that we paid $300 for it initially. So the total value right now is 389. Our profit, indicated in green, $89. This is a 29% increase. So there is a master uh, summary up here at the top. So you have the acquisition cost. So in USD, which you can also switch if you want, spent $300 getting that same profit loss. Um, until you have this up and running for 24 hours, it's not really meaningful to look at the 24 hour profit loss, but it'll tell you what things have looked like in the past day. Um, you also can have a chart of what things have, have done, what the volatilities looked like over the past day. You can look at that over year to date and all. It's a great way to track um, growth over time. So that's one aspect that you can do. Um, the other thing you can do is if you purchase a coin at different points. So let's say that you have Bitcoin at this price today. And let's say that there was a, another, there was a dip and you wanted to, to buy some more Bitcoin. So let's, let's add Bitcoin again. Let's add 0.5 BTC and let's say the buy price was 3,600. <clears throat> we can now add that to our portfolio. So normally this adds without a problem, but for some reason that's not going through completely today. Let's try to add that again. Let's add BTC. 3,600, add the portfolio. There we go, okay. Not sure if this is the site or just my connection's slow today. All right, so <clears throat> the price will match up between both BTC situations. Total value, here we bought half a Bitcoin, so the, the value will be higher. Um, and the profit will also uh, be reflected here. You'll see that the percentage change is not as high because we bought this at 3,600 compared to 3,000. So these get weighted equally. But here's one feature that I really like about Crypto Compare. So we have these two purchase dates for, for Bitcoin. We can collapse those into one. And so 
Altogether, our 0.1 Bitcoin and our 0.6 Bitcoin can be reflected at one time and we know what our total position in Bitcoin is at any given time. So that's really helpful to know sort of overall what is what your holdings are, what your profit loss is, and then be able to look at individual coins. So now if I so now if I want to go in and add a different coin like Ethereum, I can say, all right, I want about one Ethereum. I bought it back here at 250. Add that to my portfolio. It's currently at 311. We've made a profit on Ethereum. Um, and so you can see a different coin here. Just for exa an example, um, let's say that you know these things don't always go up. Let's say we bought Ethereum way back. Um, let's say we bought another Ethereum way back when it was higher. So you can see we have a loss on that. Now we collapse those together. Overall, we have a gain. But when you expand it, you can see that um, that there's a, a loss on, on that particular one. Um, the, the number of coins that are in here, there are a ton of different coins. Let's, 10x is a, is a popular coin right now. Let's say we bought um, 20 10x um, at a price of 5. Um, add to portfolio. All right, that's what it usually does, just goes through. Um, so now at 345, if that had gone, total value 70, gone down. So you probably get the idea from this that you, you can add as many coins into here as you want. You can collapse this and really just see what all your individual positions look like for coins. Um, you can then sort this by coins, by date that you purchased, um, what the total value is, what the profit loss is. So a lot of nice features on here. Um, some of the other things that I really like are that you can have an accounting feature in here um, that you can get this summary of every time you have made an investment um, and when you gain revenue, um, so when you have realized profit or loss, so I'll show you that next. But then also you can go in here and you can figure out what capital gains tax would be if, if you are actively trading these things. Um, so, so just a lot of features in there. Uh, this is much better than having to keep track of this stuff on your own spreadsheet somewhere. Um, there's a risk analysis tool here so you can see what your um, what your exposure is to different coins how much so BTC is waiting on this example portfolio is waiting over 75 percent so if you have a target for how much BTC you want to have um, you can you can make sure that your portfolio reflects that um, one thing I really like is that you can you can look at what the the volatility is so so we added 10x so it's going to be more volatile than btc is so you can see how many how much of your holdings are highly volatile versus how many are have low volatility and how much do you want to to weight that so you can get all that information at your fingertips okay so one other thing to look at is um so if you sell a coin how do you reflect that? So let's go into our positions and let's say we sold, um, let's edit. So you can click, I want to sell, let's say we sell 0.25. Um, let's say our sell price is, um, so if this is the, the, the current price we sold here, um, Let's say we sold that amount. All right, sold. So now let's click on sold. We see that 
We had originally purchased it at 3,600. We sold it at the current price. Um, so we, the total value of that was 976. Um, that originally cost us $900. So we have a profit, a realized profit here of $76. We will see that up here at the top. This will show the cumulative realized profit loss over time. Um, so that's that'll keep track of what you sold. And so now that 0.25 is taken out of current. And I, so since I had an original 0.5 Bitcoin in this purchase, I'm now down to 0.25. Collapse that. So total 0.35 Bitcoin is what's left here. So that will keep track of what you buy and sell. You have the realized profit loss. Let's go back to the accounting tab. And you can see now in my realized profit loss that I have $76. If you're paying capital gains tax on that, your tax payable now $9. So, so just something to, to be able to keep track of. Um, so that that's pretty much the, the overview of things you can do. Um, one other thing to show you quickly, if we expand, then... If we look at Ethereum, there's this advanced tab as well. So if you have a ton of coins on here, you can show where you're keeping those. If you're keeping it in a wallet, so let's say my Ethereum is in my Exodus wallet, that's a, I can keep track of the address if I have multiple addresses. If I currently have um, money on an exchange, let's say I have this on Bitrix right now, um, I, I can have somewhere that will keep track of where all my coins are if I want to go in and trade. If, if for some reason you can't keep track of everything, this will help you uh, keep track of your coins, which is just a, a nice feature. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show was that there are also these public portfolios which is kind of a fun thing to look through, to see what other people are doing, where are people making profits, what are some interesting trades to make. Um, so you can see here, there are just a, a ton to look through. Um, you can see who, which ones have been viewed the most, what currency are they in. Um, so let's just look at one that has a lot of coins already in it. Okay, so um, realized profit of 236,000. Um, so this is, it, once you've had coins in here over dates for a long period of time, you can see how much the portfolio grows over time, where things actually are. So this user has, um, wow, um, <laughs> has made 34, thousand percent profit on ethereum um so uh purchased it way back when it was less than a dollar um so you can see all these all these huge gains all right nice to know everything's not in the green ripple um down 0.8 percent um and so you can see all these different coins that have, have been held at different times um you can see coins that sometimes they, they get delisted, coins that, that don't exist anymore. This platform is really great at adding new coins onto here. So looking through these public portfolios is kind of fun. Um, if, you want to, if you want to make a portfolio for ICOs as, as one example, um, you, can, you can also um, get information on those. Um, often they will add coins in uh, before they're on exchanges and so you can you can add those in keep track of what you've purchased through an ICO so that's a, a quick summary of crypto compare I think this is a great tool um, something to help keep track of of all your coins and I hope this is useful for you guys um, if you have questions you have other tips about using this or other portfolio uh, other portfolio platforms, uh, leave, leave a message in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please click like, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.